Hey, how are we all doing? Welcome to this um, tutorial. Sorry, I'm messing about with my mic. Should be messing about with my mic. Should be looking at the camera. I've just noticed on the camera, I've got like a beach thing. I'll tell you why. It's because I've got the green screen tab turned on. Look, so look. So I've got like a beach green screen if I had anything, if I had my screen up. So yeah, and this is green. So it's showing the beat. There we go. It's green. Done. Sorted. Anyway, let me get on with this video. Um, it's a productivity video. It's a productivity tool that I've recently found. I think it's just awesome. Absolutely brilliant. It's called PDF Element and uh, it's from a company called Wondershare. And um, as a photographer, I often um, create contracts and make them into PDFs and I receive contracts, make them into PDFs. I like to mark them up and say, look, let's, let's talk about this bit. Let's talk about this bit. Um, and I always find it difficult to do that as a photographer, I do subscribe to Adobe. Um, and I just found, been using PDF Element for a while now, and I just found it's not only cheaper, but it just does all the same things. And instead of me just sat here talking about it, let's get over and let me show you, um, let me show you what it's all about. So if you do want a PDF um, editor, this is the way to, um, this is the way to go in my opinion. PDF Element offers the easiest way, I think, to create edit, convert, annotate, sign, all of that good stuff that you would want to do to PDF documents. And it's for both Windows and Mac, so that's all awesome as well, right? All the details that you need are in the comments below as well. So um, I'm just gonna move my head over as well on the screen so you can see down this, um, down this right hand side here, you've just got different views. Um, let me just turn, in fact, I'll put myself over here for now, look. Um, here you've just got page views on the right hand side. I'm going to zoom in for this and, and you can just zoom in and out of the out of the page. This is to fit the page to the screen that you're working on. This is to fit the height. This is to fit the width. And this is just to show the actual size of the PDF. And then up here we've got a like, nice little search function. So you can search for anything within that PDF. Let's look, Sunday's there. We can see Sunday on the screen. So if I was to search for Sunday, it'll tell you exactly where it was. You could click that and it'll take you to that um, to that text as well, which is quite cool. It's really easy to, to, to use that. You can um, you can search for fields. If there was any fields on this PDF, you can search for fields and um, and comments. If you add comments or there has been comments added, then you can search for those comments. I'll show you how to add comments in a bit. Um, bookmarks, you can, um, all of these pages here on this meal plan. Um, and the reason I'm using this, by the way, is because it's got lots of things in. So it's got text, it's got images, it's got links, it's got colors, it's got shapes. Um, I'm going to show you how you can manipulate all of those um, or edit all of those using PDF Element. Um, and then we've got thumbnails here. So just show you thumbnails on the right hand side. And then you have this um, little forward um, placeholders up here. And it just allows you to, this document contains redaction marks that have not yet been applied. Don't apply, I'll talk about redaction in a minute. It's a good, um, good point. And here we can sort of annotate pages. We can move pages. We can, um, we can delete pages from the left hand side. We can split pages, extract pages, um, insert blank pages, insert pages from file. We can rotate any page that's highlighted. Um, we can, um, we can search in a page range or select a page range, zoom in, zoom out, or just close that toolbar there. Right. So, um, so I'm quite zoomed in here a little bit. Let me zoom in. Now, now let's look at the, the left hand side of the application. Um, <clears throat> here at the top, we can, we can mark up. So one of the things that you generally want to do with a PDF document if is, is, is you want to mark it up. So I'm selecting markup and then it goes this, um, this um, bright blue color. And then at the top, my toolbar becomes available for me to um, highlight. So you can, um, can select the color that you want to highlight. Let's just highlight something in yellow for now. You notice it has a little pin on the toolbar at the top just to show you that that's the tool that you've got selected at the moment. And you can highlight whatever it is, change color, um, highlight something else. So that's really, really simple. You can strike through. And again, um, let me just change the tool, choose the color that you want to um, super strike through. It's just really easy and you just, just strike through like so. That's real, real simple. You can underline, you can um, 
use a pencil, just draw around stuff, whatever. I'm just going to press Command Z, Command Z on my keyboard just to get rid of um, some of these things. I could have just used the eraser. Let me show you. I could just use the eraser from here and just um, just erase that out. So get rid of that. You can change the size as well, obviously, of the eraser. Then you can um, text comments. So if you want to um, add a text comment, just select. Um, it's just a text comment. You can change. You can change the um, the size of the font, whether or not it's bold. You can smudge it, or you can just delete it. Um, one of the things I would say with this is, look, I've still got this text comment pinned up here. So if I went to click somewhere else, it'll show me another comment. So just make sure you deselect stuff, and then you can um, and then you can move this around um, like this 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 comment, or you can indeed get rid of it. And then you can create text boxes. Again, you just select your um, properties for what you want that text box to be. And again, it's just pinned it. Um, you can do callouts, so you can do text callouts. So like you can place something here, and then this is the header, like this. Um, remember to unpin and deselect and then but you can move this but this will stay anchored unless you move it to a different place like this which is really cool as well um, can you a complete overview here right and um, so to call out a good sticky notes I really like the sticky notes you can change the color of the sticky notes just select the sticky note um, let's say for instance wanted a sticky note here these are the dates um, and again deselect it otherwise you're just going to have another one so then when somebody was going to go and look at this they can just open that sticky note up and it will tell them whatever that comment is or you can add whatever you you want to add there um, I'm just deleted by um, just by pressing backspace rectangle these are all shapes Re rectangle oval line arrow um, polygon and um, connected lines and these are all editable once you put them on they're not fixed you can edit them again so don't worry about that and I quite like this this is stamp so you can just add a um, a stamp to a document just to show that's not approved um, and they're, they're quite nice and you have all the sort of usual um, sort of subjects been reviewed or to be reviewed whatever date um, and they're quite cool as well so I quite like the stamps and then you can add a signature I just made this let me just remove this signature and start another one so um, just created a signature here look and then click done and then you can if you select the signature like this you can just place that signature anywhere and resize and reshape that signature if you needed to sign a PDF document. So that's um, that's quite nice. And that's the markup tools. Got lots of tools down the left hand side. Look, then we've got the text tool. Text tool, as you would expect. Let me tell you something really, really nice about this text tool. So it recognizes where the texts are in boxes. So these are all individual um, text boxes essentially on a PDF document, right? With this text box has got some links in and, and things like that. This is an image, that's why it won't select it. This is a line, that's why it won't select it. But yeah, if you was to select any given text box and you want to add, I've just double clicked a bit of text to this, what it really nicely does is recognizes the font that it's already using and it matches um, the font to the font that's been used in any given text box. So I think that's just a really, really cool, um, let me move myself back over here on the right hand side of the screen. I think that's a really, really cool um, sort of um, sort of tool. I'm sure you'll agree. Just press Command Z to undo. So that is, that is the text. And then we've got the image editor. Um, and again, you can just remove images or insert images, um, insert images up here. So um, then we go to links here. Um, it just shows you any links that you have already in a document and all these are links look so it takes you to a page and you can actually let's say for instance this is going to take me to page th page three and along here on the top I can preview and it'll take me to that page three likewise if it was an external link it would take you to the to the external link as well you can edit the link there you can delete the link um, you can add links to the PDF file or um, you can sort of bookmark links as well. So that's the link function that's really cool as well. And then you can um, add or edit a PDF form. So you can just add a form. So select it on the left hand side and then you can add a text field. You can add a checkbox, a radio button. 
can add a drop down. Let me show you a drop down because this gives me a good example of using the inspector on the right hand side as well. Let's say for instance, I'm going to create a drop down here of just opened up the drop down, double clicked, and it'll open up the inspector on the right hand side. Now just to add drop down um, menus, I'm just going to write test one, click the little plus button and change that to a two, click the little plus button, change that to a three, click the little plus plus button and then that is me with three um, options for a drop down so if this was exported out let me and up here on the right hand side you can preview it so I'm just going to preview it quickly um, if this was me exported this out I just added a drop down option to whatever given um, whatever given sort of field that you've added there go back to the edit button here and um, and get rid of that and then you can add list boxes you can add a button, a digital signature. So this is where you are requesting a digital signature. So on to redact, I mentioned redact at the start. So this is just a pop-up that tells you. So redaction is just sort of blanking, blanking things out. Don't see this as deleting, see this as redacting, removing items. So let's say for instance, it's sensitive. You don't want somebody in a business to see it. You would redact any given um, piece of a, um, of, a, of, a, of a PDF. So let's say for instance, I didn't want people to see your meal plan. I just select mark for redaction and then highlight. So now I'd have to select mark for redaction a second time for something else and then I can redact it. In order to apply those changes, you have to click apply and that's what the pop-up at the start was telling me. What you can also do is mark pages for redaction um, or you can search and remove text. So if I wanted to, um, if I wanted to search and remove the word Sunday, I could mark for redaction, apply, and it would remove the word Sunday for and me. And then you can also do pages for redaction. So let's have a look at um, even pages done. So now when I look down, all even pages will be redacted for me. So we'll just be, we'll just be um, blacked out like so. Now the coolest thing I think um, that I've got to show you here is the tools. So on the left hand side is the tools and there's lots of tools that you can see there. You can add, let me, let me start from, not from the OCR, I wanna talk about OCR in a second. Um, so we can convert, we can batch process stuff. So this is a batch processor, so do things in bulk. Um, so here on the tools we've got um, add or edit background, so you can just add or edit a background, add or edit a watermark to a PDF, um, add or edit footers, crop pages, um, so there's lots of things there, but the really, really cool thing that you can do is um, OCR text, so it's optical character recognition, and the, I think the easiest or the most useful way I could explain optical character recognition was prob is probably um, if you scan if you scan a piece of paper with text on, you scan a document in, use it and, and, and save it as a PDF, this will convert it, you run the OCR tool, and it will convert it into readable text. So then we could use it here and edit the text of something that you've just scanned in. And that's a really, really cool thing. Um, there's not many apps that you can scan something in um, run the OCR tool and it works flawlessly as well. It work, works works really, really well. So that's PDF element um, from Wondershare. I've not got much else to say on it apart from I use it and I use it a lot and I think it's awesome. So um, I want to sing its praises if it if I wasn't impressed with it, if it wasn't cool. Hope this has helped you out. I hope you enjoy this. I um, hope you go and get yourself a copy of um, PDF element and I'll, um, I'll catch you all soon. Take care. Boom. Oh.